Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a unique travel trailer. One of the only travel trailers that actually has the master bedroom on a rear north to south slide out. Super unique, weird bunk beds, but it's been Outback's one of their best sellers for almost 10 years now. This is a 2022 Keystone Outback model 210 URS. We are gonna take a look at some of the outside features first and the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Outback and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys this Outback with a weird slide out. I love this design because it works for so many people and it's just so unique and different. But before we show everybody, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good. Um, another beautiful day here in Danville, Virginia. Yes. And yeah, I can remember selling these for like years and you know, a lot of times floor plans will fade out and come and go at the time. Not this one. Stuck around. Tried and, and true. it's so weird that like, you expect it to fade out, you know yes, what I mean? So, yes, yes. Especially this floor plan, it is very unique, yeah. but it still worked. And again, guys, this is gonna be our last reminder to check out, um, to get your limited edition t-shirts. Bing! Give me porcelain or give me death. Uh, I don't know when it ends, but I think it's ending in the next day or two. Okay. We pre-record these videos, so yes. I don't know. Uh, but this is the last announcement. Do not message me a week from now. Matt, can I get a shirt? Sorry, bud. That's what limited edition means. That's right. Will, let's begin. All right. And you can get them by going to our website, Master Review Reviews. Model is 210 URS Outback. The actual tip to tip length is 23 feet 4 inches. That is when the slide out's in. It's actually a lot longer when the slide right. out's out. We'll show you that in a minute. The dry weight is 4,811 pounds and the hitch weight is 485 pounds. Right up front here, well, we do have a nice slipper power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. This is not the Outback. That is the Outback, Will. Yes. That is Keystone's top of the line. This is an Outback Ultra Light, which is their passport division um, and their lightweight division as well. You know yep. what I'm saying? Um, this is a molded fiberglass front cap, LED lights and everything. Now, with that said, Outback makes Outback Bullet, Mm -hmm. um, passport. passport, Passport, SL, GT, all that. Right. Now, out of those lines, this is the better of the ultralight brands. Yes. It's still an ultralight brand. Cool. Right here, Keystone, three-year structural warranty. And, Will, can we take a moment to appreciate this wind blow? I know, right? Mm. Feels great. Feels great. Over here. Uh-oh. Right there. I would not call that any storage. <laughs> That's just a little bit of cubby. You guys are going to be like, what the heck's going on here? Wait till we go around to the other side. Yep. Okay, right here, we do have a door to the inside. This does have the Arctic barrier package and will. Uh oh. Look at the steps. Womp womp. Uh oh. We do got a very nice power awning with LED lights, speakers on the outside, a mount for the TV. And then look at these tires, will. They're trailer kings. I love those. ST. The heck's going on here? 205. 205 S75 R14. Yes, sir. Thank you, Will. Mm -hmm. Standard suspension right there as well. Okay. And then, Will, look at this. This is the slide out. It is. Cable driven slide out, one of the longest slide outs. Well, that has to be a five foot slide out. Yeah. A lot of you guys are looking at this like, oh, isn't that going to give me issues? Truthfully, I think it's going to give you issues by just looking at it. Right. But Keystone wouldn't be making it for 10 years if it did. Yeah. Right there. You do got power. Um, a bumper right there, okay. spare tire, spare tire carrier, and there is a little bit of storage here, which I don't think we'll be able to open. Yeah, because of the tire. But we will try, Will. Yep, no, nope. get the camera in oh, there. Oh yeah, there you go. Cool. Who says we should film with the DSLR? <laughs> a little GoPro can take you where you want to go. Coming around the back, Will. Look at this, electric stabilizing jacks from Lippard. I love that. Yeah. Especially on a little trailer like this. Instant hot tankless water heater. Don't know who the brand is, but I love that too. Can we? No, we can't assume anything. Yeah. Nope. Just instant hot. Very nice. And it truthfully it doesn't matter who the brand is. The fact that it's instant right, hot. Right. Right. That's so nice. Right here, 30 amp hookup right there. 
this enclosed, I love this, is where your okay. uh, your valves are and where your uh, hookups are, outdoor shower. Right there, that's where you're dumping your tanks. And then, Will, check this out. That's awesome. Look at that. Now it's and like a little toy no storage. All the yes, way through. because this is the storage, Will. That's right. And it's also the bunk area. Right. Will, the outside of this unit looks great, but why don't you walk around and check out the inside? Okay. <laughs> Come on in. All right. Got me out of breath now. Did I? I couldn't climb up there as fast as I could. Okay, so back here is that bed that we talked about. Yes. And then in the middle is your dining area. Yes. Living area. Kitchen. Bathroom. Yes, sir. And what's really crazy is all the way in the back is a set of bunks. Yes. I just want to take a moment to thank Lippert for sponsoring our channel. Guys, Lippert is more than a business. They actually have a community. I recommend checking out their Scouts program on Facebook. It's YouTube. It's Facebook.com. Search Lippert Scouts. Guys, it's just the best community. You guys heard us talk about it. Not only that, you can sometimes get free products when they're coming out with prototypes. Yep. Um, Because they like to ask the community and any feedback about anything in the RV community. Lippert's there. They're listening, they care, they believe in using business for better, and it's just an awesome community. Make sure you check them out on That's Facebook. Right. Well, look at this. Uh, is this. Nope, this is not flip up. You got a single bunk bed here. Power GFI right there. Storage right here. Right. Okay. Nice drawer there. Again, bikes, stuff, dog crates. You can yep. store it all here. And then when you do have kids with you oh, nope is it stuck look at that will that's right so nice that is really nice i remember at leo's i sold this to people um who are grandparents you know what i'm saying oh uh, yeah and uh they got this for their kids and it just worked really well and again so we talked about this with other trailers 90% was dedicated to couples and then the other 10% with the corn yeah. heads. This is probably 95 and five. Yeah. This is so out of the way and everything. It's exactly, unreal. Exactly, yeah. Well, we're actually gonna do the bathroom next. Okay. Perfect. All right, Will, this is gonna be a little tight. Get on in there, sir. Yeah, there's a big step up. So, you know, it's, it's not tall enough, unfortunately. But for this size trailer, it's decent. So, but it doesn't pass. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. God. What the hell is that? Oh. Kill it, Will. I'm not going to be able All right. Over here. <laughs> We're scared of bugs. We're grown men scared of bugs. Right here, we do got nice little uh, mirror and everything. A uh, little sink and then Will. Oh, it's on your leg. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, dude, that's not fun. <laughs> That looked like one of those uh, horse flies as it well. It is, yeah. It's one of those Danville horse flies. Mm. Porcelain. It's porcelain, Will. I was hoping it would be plastic so we can tell people to give me porcelain or give me death. Right. One more time. It is porcelain. But here's what I will say. This is not a prime pooping okay. position. And then over here, Will, show us this kitchen. All right. So you got some nice... Uh, cabinet storage space up top here. Nice window on your campsite. A little bit of countertop space. Okay, okay. A little spray faucet, but a nice big single bowl sink. A couple drawers here. Look how it's black on the bottom, too. Yeah. That's interesting. Some storage here. Our cabinet space. Hey! That's a $156 trash can. And then, all right over here, uh, sound system. High point microwave, they did fix the So do you sticker. think somebody lost their job because of that? No. How funny would that, like it wouldn't be funny if they lost their right. job. But it would be funny if like, somebody was all like, hey, you're on Matt's RV reviews for their right. spell check. Um, Fury on range hood right there. Fury on three burner cooktop with the blue lights and oven. Let's just say we're never getting a sponsorship from High Point. That's for right. sure. Very nice. Down there, is that it? Nope. Oh, a little, oh in the fridge. GE compressor fridge right here. Wow, it's already cool. It is cool. Just off the batteries. Hey, let's put the GoPro bat. Oh, uh -oh. oh, dang, Nabbit America. I'm sorry. These dang GoPro batteries overheat. They do. All right, and what do we got there, Will? Um, nice pantry space here. 
Drawer is there. Yep. That's it. All right. Well, let's do the Macarena. Okay. You come over here and I'm going to go. I'm going to go up here. All right. And the king bed. Well, this is crazy, man. Like, I know I'm in. I don't even know where the light switch is. But it's just like Keystone wouldn't make this if it wasn't safe. Yeah. But, like, I still kind of feel <laughs> like. Sorry. You're good. I still feel like, hey, I know there's nothing under me. <laughs> right. It's a little scary. Well, right. see, they definitely reinforced this slide up here. Okay. So that's got to help a lot. Right here, Will, is the um storage. Okay. All right. We do got the side windows there. Yeah, nice. And then, Will, I mean, this is big. This is nice. It is nice and big, huh? Same cabinets there. And, again, this is, this is, this is for the unit that people need bunk beds. People need the space. But they yeah. just don't want to tow something long. Yeah, exactly. And I'm glad that they give you that option. Yep. And then over here, Will, this is your traditional Keystone Outback look. This right. leatherette type of look. This is a sofa and it jackknifes down. We do got the blinds there. Now, this does need to come down for the slide out to come. Oh, uh, okay. That's how the slide out comes in. And then you do need to drop this cushion down as well. All right. That's why the dinette's down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I actually really hate that. Yeah. But I understand why I'm actually not even going to strike them for that because they can't be up because then the slide out won't be able to come. Right. This is like the only excusable time. Right. This is okay. And then over here, Will, is the dinette. Again, needs to be dropped down every time for the slide out to come in. We'll talk about that in just a few moments. Nice windows, really nice radius roof. And then right over there, Will, that's where the TV is. Okay. Um, Just overall... This is this is 100%. We say this a few times in our show, but I truthfully mean it in this one. This is a I love it or I hate it type yeah. of unit. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the 2010. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we like about it and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like? First. We can do dislikes first if you want. No, I, I like likes first. First thing I absolutely like about it, Will, is this here. Yeah. This is a small trailer. The fact that you're getting bunk beds, a sofa, and a dinette. Yep. Love that feature. So many times you need to get to those 27, 30-foot travel trailers just to be able to get boats. So to yep. have all this in here, I really, really like. I agree. That is number one. Will, number two? I'm going to go with the electric stabilizing jacks. Yes. In this size trailer, that's not very common. Sheesh. And it was a really nice feature that they did that. So Absolutely. I love that. Will, number three for me is going to be those bunk beds. Yeah, for sure. How they flip up out of the way, how you can use them for storage. Yep. And I am going to say that bed is a king size bed. Yes. So if, if, if you're like Big Daddy here and you want something small, but you still need to be comfortable while you're sleeping, this is a great unit for you. That's right. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Sir William, you please go first, because I got number two and three. Okay, I'm going to go with, truthfully, it's just a little tight in here. All right, well, well, I don't have number two then, but I still have okay. number three. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. It's tight. Why is that? It's just, no, well, there's no slides. Yes. There's no side slides. It's only the rear slide. Correct. And there's a lot going on in here, so yep. it makes it tight. That's number one. Well, number two, should we make it there? this yep, yep I kind of going on with well this is just a small bathroom guys yeah it just is what it is and this unit isn't a unit for me or will honestly but um it might be for you but again right. with it being a small unit small bathroom exactly it just, just is what it is i will give them props for having that porcelain toilet yep. give me porcelain or give me death that's right and then well number three is the fact a dislike is the fact well wait there was something on the outside solid steps Oh, we got to say solid yeah. steps. Solid steps is a must, but I will combo it well with the fact that you have to drop the sofa and the dinette yeah. down every time to get the slide out. I agree. It's a little it's annoying. Just an, it's just an extra step. That's right. You already got to dump your black tank and smell your kid. Your kid, Mikey, you got to smell little Mikey's poop and everything. Yeah. And it just stinks. And then, well, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Okay. Um. And then, as always, well, uh huh. Always, inexcusable don't give me these fold up steps. i agree not a fan of them never have been a fan of them never will be a fan of them well well do you know what time it is it's, it's now time for the, the msrp msrp on this unit is here at rv outlet usa is forty seven thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars they have it for sale for thirty seven thousand 
$550 sale price. Okay. Well, that's for this unit here, which is stock number RVK012232, which means once this unit sold, we can't get you that sale price anymore, but we are a part of RVR, which is Nationwide Network of Dealerships. We will always be able to get you guys a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire industry. That's right. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course, yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Again, uh, the Outbacks, they're always doing like cool floor plans, cool colors, cool designs. So it's always exciting to see what they got out that's new. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.